Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to be with you here at 81st Venice Film Festival. I guess for people who haven't seen the film already, could you give us a, a brief introduction? What can they expect when they watch it? Go ahead. I can say it's a cross-section about the rural life of this family in Val di Sole. It's a valley in Trentino, in the north of Italy. Yes, there is also a high point uh, where Giuseppe has the main, is the main character there, so... If you want to say something. If you want to add something, uh, you can cry, you can laugh at the same time. You are fascinated by these beautiful peaks and terrified by this cliff. So it's really a beautiful story. And I understand the director, I mean, it's her second feature, um, that she had like a very, very close personal connection. Yeah. Going back in her history, um, she went and spent a lot of time there to immerse herself, to really bring mm. this period and the setting to life with authenticity. Yeah. When you read that script, um, how did you connect with it? And how did you kind of come on board to get into her world, into her history in order to play your characters? It's very special when directors bring intimate stories story, uh, a family story on the screen. I think it's very, it's a very brave action, I would say. And uh, I think Maura feels now very naked in a certain way. Yeah, when I saw the script, I, I read it and I could see and I could feel that there was something really important for her authentic too. so it's very authentic yeah right and um, i had to to learn the script and i wanted to maintain to keep it so as it was because i i knew it that mm -hmm. that for maura was very important so yeah, she she had this dream about her father so it's something very as, as she already said something very authentic special important so our I speak for myself. I just tried to um, to talk a lot with her. She had we had a lot of rehearsals before our shooting. In in respect of her vision, uh, she helps me a lot to go through this intense and suspenseful storyline. And in terms of capturing this way of life, I mean, it also almost seems like a, a sort of a way of life caught in time. Because, you know, you have to remember this was during World War II, yeah. perhaps feels like it stretches back much further. Um, but there is such attention to detail in, in, in capturing the way of life. And you feel sort of the epic uh, scale of nature that surrounds these people that's both alluring but also quite threatening. What was it like being on those sets? And, you know, did you actually have to sort of live in this way for a while in order to capture it effectively? Wow, it's crazy. All the departments have done an amazing job because we were so fascinating and, you know, engaged by, as you correctly said, that it was so beautiful, detailed. And so, uh, how can I add? What, what were we going to say about it? It was, it was super. It was so incredible, actually. Yeah, yeah. It it was like a jump in the past. We say in Italy, yeah. it's a jump in the, into the past. And uh, Maura, yes, as you said, she's very um, detailed. There mm. were a lot of details on uh, uh, on set that we had to to perform. And um, yes, also the, the 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 characteristic of the nature is very important, very present on screen. Mm -hmm. And it was difficult. Also for the crew, I think to 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 stay there and to 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 manage all the stuff there. So uh, it was a real challenge. <laughs> yeah, definitely. With that cold, with that clothes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it was tough. And in terms of your characters, I mean, Lucia, in a way. Uh, she's kind of representing a lot of the aspects that a woman of that time would have had to go through. But she's also perhaps uh, sort of representing being on the cusp of change. She's the one perhaps trying to reach outside of her confines. And despite her feeling very repressed, this sort of love that she shares with Pietro it sort of seems to give this sort of glimpse of hope and beauty. So how did you see your character and your journey in the film? Uh, yes, I always describe and I always saw Lucia as a very simple and genuine character. She's what you see on screen. She doesn't hide anything. She's very spontaneous and uh, a normal person. Uh, it's very grounded if you if you see her her on on screen. And um, 
she is also a, a girl from her time. She loves to be there. She loves her, her, her mountain. She loves the place where she lives and she is happy with that. Yeah, the, the love with Pietro, it's something very special for her. She wanted to, to, to be in love with someone. She wanted to have a family. But then, yeah, you will see in the film, Lucia will be able to be strong also if we, if we wouldn't say that at the beginning. So she's, um, she's strong and she is uh, uh, able to manage what it will happen very good. She's a brilliant character. And Pietro, I mean, he's a man of very few words. You don't have much dialogue to work with in terms of your performance. Um, and there, but there's an allure in that for, for um, Lucia. Um, and of course, there's a lot of secrecy and mystery behind him too. So how did you approach playing him? I, I followed um, actually two key steps, I can say. I, I used um, photos of my great-grandfather to, to capture the posture of my character. I fell in love with the movie Casablanca, to drew inspiration from the elegance and movements of the area. And then through the vulnerability, my personal vulnerability that I put in the screen, from, from my perspective, is in that vulnerability that we have the possibility to, to put the foundation of concrete and authentic emotion where love can emerge. What would you hope that people would take away from watching the film? Say, Reality... As we said at the beginning, love, sadness, poetry, mm -hmm. nature, mm -hmm. love, family, history. Mm -hmm. We family have a lot, a lot of stuff yeah. in this movie, you should watch it. <laughs> Perfectly put. Well, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. so much thank for sharing you. that with thank me. And congratulations you. on the film. I really enjoyed presenting it here thank in Venice. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.